Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. So I thought I'd try something a bit different this week or this month if you guys like it. I'm trying to do a few more vlogs. I'm not doing vlogmas just because I'm really bad and no one watched it last year. Um, so I thought maybe I'll do a few more vlogs. Maybe I'll break my Friday and weekly into two videos some weeks. I don't know. Or like on my birthday and on Christmas maybe I'll do individual daily vlogs. Just let me know if you'd like that and if not, I'm sorry. So yeah, this week one vlog has already gone live. Vlogmas day one, two and three. I'll leave a link below and today it's now, what day is it? It's the 5th of December. So I just had a blow dry at Sassoon in Leeds and I'm doing a talk tonight at Topshop. I'm really nervous but I'm really excited. It's such an honour, like an actual honour to have been invited back to Topshop to do another talk. Very, very pinch me. Um, so we're going to go and do that. I'm scared. There's a bright star shining. So I just got to the section in Topshop. It's amazing. Look how amazing this looks. I've just chosen like my selection of stuff, so I'm gonna quickly talk through that tonight. I'm so excited. Hey. I have a huge thing with my face on it. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so Topshop went really well. I literally have the two biggest things down here with my face on them. I feel a bit vain and over the top. Look, go. Sorry, T, I've got some <laughs> That's me. I couldn't not take them. This is my bestie heart. So if you watch my last vlog, this is the one who went to Australia for a year. Um, but she's back for like months. And she's like my longest, stand, literally my longest standing friend. She's seen me through the orange skin days. Oh, the yeah. long, and she's still my friend. <laughs> and this is Tia, my other friend. Again, literally the best. We met ages ago and we're from like the same area and she owns Rocker Box if you guys know Rocker Box and um, it's the best subscription box it's £10 per month and you get like loads of amazing beauty treats I push it so much because I genuinely love it and then my gal and my mat so we're at ZZ's because I wanted to treat my friends to ZZ's and it's our favourite and me and Gab tried some the other day and it was fully booked so I was like let's go to ZZ's Matt. Hi Tia. Hi Gabby. Hi Hope. Do you want spice? I want spice. Okay, but you've got chilli. Yeah. 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 Oh my god, that looks so good. I don't know how you fit like 12 of these on the table of 12 people. Yeah. Oh good, I'll have some of yours. That's me. Thank you. I'm so excited. He is about to have a first ever Zizi's brownie. And you tip it over it, it's so good. And it's salted caramel. Although my last one didn't taste like caramel, so I hope these ones do. Have you ever had a Zizi's brownie? No. It looks like chocolate. Yeah. I think it is. Matt's had lots oh, of ZZ's I brownies. It was perfect. Too much for me today. No. Oh, don't freeze. Don't freeze. Oh. What are you boomeranging at? I just got the perfect. Here we go. Oh no. Hold it up. Show the. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh my god, my phone's just glitching. <laughs> well, that's not good, is it? No. Oh. Eight, oh, okay. oh my god, you did a super zoom. Yeah, wait for it. Let's go from the start. Oh, I don't know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Matt's house currently absolutely crippled. I don't think I can eat bread or pasta. I don't know what it is. I'm li literally in the car. I felt like I was giving birth. I don't know if anyone gets this. But I'm definitely intolerant to something. I have been forever. But I still just eat all the carbs. <sighs> I would have shown you in the car, but I couldn't even film because I was like in so much pain. But it just feels like I'm giving birth. I don't know if it's bread, I don't know if it's rice, because it only happens with some things. Oh gosh, I look like such a mess. But we'll, we'll talk about the Topshop event in the morning. I need to try to sleep this off. Good morning, world. I look like I've got no lips because I've got no lipstick on. Um, sorry for abruptly ending the vlog last night, but I fell so horrendous. I think Matt thought I was going to burn. 
but you know what? He's always giving birth. That's the birth. Giving birth. That's oh, right. the pain I was in <laughs> last night. Birth. That was the pain I was in last night. Oh, right. You just sprawled out in the seat. I had to, I couldn't even manage the car journey home. I had to bring the chair fully back and just lay there. Oh. Um, sorry, we're just driving to London. Um, but yeah, it's just, I, I get this, I've had this for years. And there's like a few notable times where the pain has been so bad. I feel like I need an ambulance and like, I, I'm just gonna die. It feels like I'm, I am giving birth. Like how I imagine labor to feel. Um, my mom has IBS, but it's not that because I don't have the same symptoms as her and my friend has IBS too. Um, I don't know, I, it's just, it's some rice, some pasta and some bread, but not all of them. So I spoke to a nutritionist and she thinks it's like a strand of something within something. But I don't want to do an allergy test because if I do one and it says I can never eat bread again, then, well, I mean, I'm never going to give up bread. But I might have to. <laughs> so I don't really know. So I just got some apple and I had some pasta for my lunch. But it's pasta from Waitrose and I know that that pasta doesn't hurt my stomach. The stupid thing is, the meal I had last night was a meal that I always have at ZZ's and it never hurts my stomach. But then again, I did have a bite of Matt's pizza. I don't usually get pizza. So maybe it's a pizza because pizza bases use really strong white flour. So I'm going to try a gluten free pizza next time. But I really don't condone cutting things out of your diet until you've been told by a doctor what's wrong with you. So I'm going to go and get an allergy test next week when I'm at home. So yeah, I'm really sorry for ending the vlog abruptly last night. So we're just on our way to London. I feel a lot better now, by the way. I, I wish I could have filmed last night so you'd have seen the pain I was in. But I could barely even speak or breathe. So you guys wouldn't want to see that. Um, yeah, just on the way to London. We are going to an event with Clarence tonight, like a cute festive event. I love festive things. And then I've got dinner with Victoria and Alex. And I'm so excited to catch up with Vic. You guys know Vic in the fro. Um, I say I'm excited to catch up with her, but I went to Dior with her last week. Um, if you watched my first Vlogmas vlog, you'll have seen that. Um, and I was with her the day before for breakfast as well. So actually, I've seen loads of her, but it'll be nice to see her again. She just became the face of Ted Baker. So um, we're gonna have lots of celebrations, aren't we? You can have a Negroni, you can have a very drunk, you can have a Negroni with Alex. Oh, uh, this is Matt's new Burberry coat, by the way, we got from Cheshire Rose. It's so nice. Um, but yeah, right guys, let's go to London. We made it. It is so cold. We just pulled up some most amazing parking space you've ever seen. Also, the door's open. And the house, steal it. We literally found the most amazing house ever. This is where, this is our parking space. How amazing is this? So we're gonna have a little walk across the river. Although, first of all problems, I'm gonna have to put a hat on and it's gonna ruin my hair. But it's so cold, how cold are you? Are you freezing? Ah. I forgot to film our romantic river walk because <laughs> it was just a bit windy. So I'm wearing this dress with my new boots tonight. We just checked into a really cute hotel by the way, it's called Flynn. Flint Inn, I think. Um, I just found it last minute on Hotels.com. It's really cute. It's in Hammersmith, so we needed to be West London. Um, so yeah, this is the exact outfit. This is so comfortable. Although if you get one size down, because this is size six and it's huge, I've had to like pull it in. Um, with these cute little boots and a nails ink lipstick. So we're gonna go to the Clarence event now. I'm so excited. Look what we both got. 
we both got chocolate bombs. It's so good. Chocolate bombs. So good. How cute How is this? I want to get a picture under it. Oh my god, look at this. Look at the outside area. Vic, Alex, did you have a nice night? Was it delicious? Did you have a terrible night? Really, really bad food was alright. <laughs> Love you guys. Good morning, guys. I hope you can hear me because I'm in a really loud row. It's so good to see Victoria and Alex last night. Such a lovely night. Um, I'm just heading. It's super early. I need so much coffee. Listen to my voice. I'm just heading now to an event. Um, I'm actually going to talk about marketing and kind of like bloggers and stuff. So let's do this. So this is me, if you can see from the background. And also we've got some great speakers for you as well. So we've got M and Junior who will be giving you kind of an influencer's perspective on how to work with them. We've got Sam. So the talk went really well. Oh, folks, I'm very shiny. I am now just with this mega babe. I will leave her Instagram and everything below. Um, we're just filming something, and once it's all out, you'll see it because I'll share it everywhere. We're talking about like depression, bullying. It's just like a nice personal girl yeah. chat. This one story is unreal. Like mm. I've just been saying, her inner strength. You need to li like listen to everything you've gone through. Yeah, thank Honestly, you. you're amazing. So we're just basically it's it's a it's the most amazing topic when I got the email being like do you want to come and film this I was like absolutely she she's gonna no help so many Australia. people <laughs> she's gonna help so many people so we're just in this gorgeous Jaguar um I don't know why I'm so shiny um but yeah so I just wanted to talk to you about what I was doing but it will be out soon when's it gonna be out yeah think, probably in the next couple of weeks <gasps> so I'll share so it you, you guys if you've got me on Instagram and Twitter I'll share it everywhere because I think these are important topics that we need to talk about and if you guys like the video I'll do something similar on my channel we should actually record something for my channel yeah I'd love maybe that. before when you're launches maybe we should do something on mine quite similar yeah publish it and then send them over to your one yeah that would be nice i like that. guys leave a comment let me know if you want some more personal stuff so it is very rainy it's so nice. i'm with steph you guys have to follow steph if you don't know her so i just did my filming and then we picked steph up on route we had a quick starbucks although it was very quick because i'm very late so i'm always late <laughs> um but she's a total babe and we just had the nicest catch-up so when i get my house i'm gonna catch up all the time housewarming for me, so yeah, bye. Three successful day, just back with this one. You had a nice day. I have, yeah. Look how festive this is. We are just about to go to the Connaught for afternoon tea with my babe, James Reed. So nice. Oh my god, look how festive this is. Say hey. James is here. He's back. He's going so quiet on my vlog. <laughs> He's not really quiet. Well, that was a nice treat seeing James, although we were together for like four hours maybe. So um, it's very late. We're just driving back to the north and it's snowing. This is the first time I'm going to look at my face at all my makeup. Well, this is the first first snow how exciting i think it's getting a bit slushy i hope it hits the ground and goes snowy i mean, just because it could ground to be wet matt thought it was salt spray i was like matt it's not salt spray it's it started as we go past salt spray i was like matt it's snow it's not salt spray i was like yeah it's definitely snow so enjoy the snow guys i'll see you in the morning morning guys it's sunday so i've not vlogged for the last few days because as you can hear i am not feeling the best so i've basically had two days where i've just sat at home with pajamas on i hope you can see me this hair on my lens um with pajamas on and no makeup on looking like an actual little rat <laughs> um but yeah i don't know why i've got this cord it's very annoying so the last part of the vlog you saw was us driving home in the snow um, everyone else has woken up this morning to lots of snow and I'm in Yorkshire today at my house Left my at his and there's no snow. It's just started to snow, but we don't have snow all over the floor So I've just been filming a video 
um, I've been filming a party wear haul um, and then I've got loads of other party wear stuff that I didn't feature because I ordered way too much. So I'm going to try it on for you guys today as a bit of a, um, what's the word, it's going to be a bit of a things I might wear to my birthday try on. So I'm just going to show you on the vlog. I'm um, wearing this dress from Topshop which is honestly my favourite dress ever. Apparently my videos haven't been going to sub boxes which is really frustrating. They spend so much time making them and I've had so many tweets to say they've not been into sub boxes so we don't know what to do um so I put a Topshop haul live today um and this is on it and I spent a lot of time making it and editing it and filming it so it would be amazing if you guys could watch it I'll link it below so I'm actually wearing pajamas with this this is reality guys and um, I'm just organizing my room I've decided to throw half my wardrobe out so I'm gonna show you a bit of that and then I'm gonna do a bit of a try on So I've organised bags and bags and bags of stuff to either sell or give to charity. I give like bags and bags and bags of stuff to charity every week. In fact, yesterday a lady from behind closed doors, I'll leave a link below, they are like an amazing domestic abuse charity um, in Leeds. They came to pick loads and loads and loads of stuff up, loads of Christmas presents, because every year, I've said this loads of times, um, but every year I give, well every month actually, <laughs> Um, but particularly ramp it up at Christmas, I give loads of stuff to women's charities and a children's home um, so that people can have presents, not that money or presents equal happiness but it could give someone a smile oh, this Christmas, oh god I can't even reach um, so now I've done that, I've literally got five bin bags and then I gave the mess I gave behind closed doors two big bin bags yesterday and then I've given another like four huge bin bags to a stall at my mum's work and then all of the money that I raised from that will be going to give children Christmas presents, that's really exciting. Um, so now, time to actually declutter. I wanna get rid of half of my wardrobe. So anything that I haven't given away and stuff that I think you guys will like, particularly stuff that I've worn on Instagram and stuff, um, I'm gonna sell, so Depop or eBay or, Me uh, can I pronounce it, Macari? Just let me know um, so that I can sell it and if you wanna buy it and when, and I need to put a day aside to get all of that up for sale. Um, but yeah, so now to hang everything up and finally get some cleanness in here. Anything that you're missing, I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow. Whatever we do. I'm just trying on some winter outfits. I love this dress. So beautiful and you can use it as a coat as well. But I love this. So nice. I think this is my favourite. Sorry about the mess in my bedroom. I'm currently trying stuff on while still sorting bin bags out but I'm feeling good. Second option, we've got this one. Just a really nice plain black dress, but I do just love a plain dress. I love how like matte black is. Also, there is so much stuff in my bedroom. I can barely move. This is a two piece, like a suit. Um, I've just pinned it together. Yeah. I think it'll look nice with a polo neck underneath but also just like this, maybe with a bralette underneath. Okay, I've moved my camera so you can see me better. This, which is not designed for someone that's five foot two. But I love this. Oh my God, it feels amazing. So comfortable. Um, I think I got the tall version by accident. So I need to find a version that isn't for tall people. But um, I love this. This is one that I ordered online as kind of like a last minute, well not last minute because my birthday's on the 22nd of December, but I don't know, like a last resort. I thought I'll either love it or look like an ice skater, but I actually like it, it's quite nice. I do have bikini bottoms on, um, which don't look very good, but it's actually really pretty. Last but certainly not least, I love this, although I feel like it is way too summery, but it's cute. Okay, super cozy, I'm back to tidying it now. So, I feel so annoyed every time I vlog when my bedroom is messy. The judgement is real, um, but yeah, it's just the way life is when I have so many bags. So I've currently got one, two, three, four, five 
bin bags full of stuff to charity or sell. My dressing room is half the size full, which I'm very happy about. I'm gonna sort my bed out now. Um, it's always like this every time after I've filmed a video, every time after I unpack a suitcase, it looks like a bomb has hit my bedroom. And someone just commented on my video and said they love my videos, but my hair's really greasy. <laughs> so I'm um, gonna tip a full thing of grease over my head next time I film just for you. I just think it's one of those things. I hate talking about negative things. And I know you guys hate me talking about negative things, but just don't, just, why would you ever make a comment like that? Even if you're trying to be nice and you're like, oh, um, I love what you do. It's like, yeah, but you just said my hair's greasy. When I'd been for a blow dry, it's just rude. Beyonce can say that to me, or anyone that looks 150% perfect all the time. In fact, Beyonce probably doesn't even look perfect all the time. Some days, I don't know, like, why should I feel like I have to have my hair 100% perfect on a video? Do you know what's so stupid? I get blow dries and plan filming my videos around my blow dries every single time so that no one makes any crap comments like that. Um, because I always get comments about my roots, my nails, my hair. I mean, talk about kick a girl when she's down. Imagine if I just came into your house and I was like, you look like shit. You need to get your hair done. Like, I just, it's so rude. It is just so horrendously rude. Um, so, yeah, basically, on that video, I had, like, a strand of hair here, which I said on the video it was really annoying me. And, um, it probably did make my hair look, well, actually, I take that back because my hair didn't look greasy on the video at all. Um, but I have been stuck in a snowstorm pre-filming, but I do try and get a blow dry every before every video anyway. So now I'm gonna have to be self-conscious about me talking too fast, self-conscious about my nails, self-conscious about my spending habits, because someone picked up on that as well, um, and self-conscious about my roots. No one talks about the good things that people do. It's just YouTube, people, just be nice, please. So. I am going to quickly show you some stuff that came while I was away actually because I got some really 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 lovely stuff and then I'm going to continue tidying so no one can get offended at my bedroom being messy. Seriously guys, I just want to invite people around that leave comments like that and be like, come and sit in my messy bedroom with me whilst looking at my greasy hair, whilst looking at my under nails and let's chat. Let's have a big cuddle. To be fair, like these people might not actually be nasty people, they might genuinely just think it's okay to say your hair looks so greasy, you need a good scrub. And um, that's fine if that's where you were brought up. But I don't know, in my book, it's just not that nice. But anyway, you're all invited round for pizza and cuddles and greasy hair and we can scrub each other. Um, but yeah, let me show you what's come. Pink fur stocking and may have eaten the chocolates, but oh my goodness, so it came with Juicy Couture, came from Juicy Couture even, and I have a Juicy Couture tracksuit. It's all about their Juicy on Ice, Juicy Leg like Glass perfume. And look, the Juicy Couture tracksuit is personalised. That is my Christmas attire sorted. Thank you so much, Juicy Couture. That is amazing. I've loved their fragrances since I was a kid. And I've loved their tracksuits, so now I can wear them into adulthood. Um, this came from Kiehl's, again, one of my fave brands, Marcus Lupfer X Kiehl's. And it's got my initials on it. How beautiful is this? So that is so special, happy holidays, I love Kiehl's, how special, that is just so lovely. Um, and then, this from Rockerbox, so rather than it being in a box this month, it is in a bag, and this is possibly the best Rockerbox yet. So it comes with Yes2, which is one of my favourite brands, their charcoal mask. It comes with this, what is this? Yeah, ooh! Oh wow, hello beautiful. I even got a personalised Rockerbox mirror, that's so nice. Energising mask, wow that sounds really good. And this, Tanya Burke Cosmetics. And it's one of her cheek illuminators. But I like it because you get this and you can keep this and this is definitely going to be my new makeup bag. Actually, not least, I got this from Sourcebox. So Sourcebox is owned by Naomi Smart. Um, and look how amazing it is. I've always wanted it because it's full of refined sugar treats and this is a limited edition chocolate box. Also, I've um, I've already kind of eaten some of it, but you get so much in here. It's just incredible. Chocolate mulberries and this is all refined sugar free. Bicky Bombs by Livia's Kitchen. Luxury dark superfood chocolates and then all of this which I haven't even looked at. Christmas spice chocolate. 
Ooh, um, chai chocolate. Oh my goodness, this is just amazing. These are like all the most amazing, luxurious, refined, sugar-free chocolates. Um, and you get to try them if you buy this. Oh my god, there's even a brownie in here. It's just amazing. They just pack these boxes full. And I know that you can get a monthly subscription. And it's not always chocolate. You usually get just like refined sugar snacks. I've always wanted to try Raw Halo. This is far too exciting. So yeah, with Sauce Box, I've wanted to get it every single month for a long time. Um, and the limited edition chocolate box has made me want to even more now. So yeah, usually you just get like refined sugar free, healthy, natural products in there. And it's kind of like a beauty subscription box, but you get food in there, so it's even better. Um, it just means you can try new foods and then you know that you can go and buy them in say the supermarket and stuff. And I saw Naomi, or I saw on their website, they were saying that you cannot get all of those things for cheaper than the box price, because the box is kind of expensive. But it's because the products are expensive anyway, so it's actually really good value. Right, I'm gonna continue tidying because <laughs> girls got a lot to do. Honestly, some of these clothes are so old. I've just taken it upon myself today to just... I was going to do this over Christmas, but it's been annoying me so much. I just cannot have a clear mind. It's such a messy room. So I'm literally just getting rid of everything. If I've not worn it in a year, why is it still here? I can go to better use with someone else. So I'm getting rid of it. So I'm going to love you guys and leave you from this vlog. I hope it wasn't too long and too rambly. And yeah, I am trying to break my vlogs up a bit more so you guys get more vlogs over Christmas. So you can have a birthday vlog. You are going to have you have loads of different vlogs. You have birthday vlog, Christmas vlogs, all that kind of jazz. Um, so I really hope you liked this. And sorry for moaning and sorry for my greasy hair. <laughs> I'm joking. You guys and me can just be greasy together because life is too short to sweat the small stuff. And you should sprinkle love and kindness everywhere you go. Goodbye guys, I love you lots and lots.